science. And we have good evidence that somewhere between about 3 and 6 degrees Fahrenheit, we're likely to see collapse of one of the world's major ice sheets. The sea level equivalent in total melting of the Greenland ice sheet is about 23 feet. And while melting of the Greenland ice sheet would occur over many centuries, uh, once we're committed, as far as we know, we're, we're committed. And uh, there's, there's no question that these large-scale events really could have a, a huge leverage. Uh, and the fifth is the global aggregate impacts, impacts on total availability of fresh water, total availability of food, total economic activity. And in some ways, those are the, those are the simple ones. Those are the ones we can price. But until we can understand impacts across that whole space, it's really difficult to come up with, uh, with a, a, a simple metric that says how much we should invest. Now, I want to close with some thoughts on solutions that take a different approach to this cost-benefit approach. And it's instead of cost-benefit approach, it's a co-benefits approach. And we know now when we look at the impacts of climate change, when we look at the things that we're trying to accomplish with adaptation and mitigation, that we're not really talking about trade-offs where we have to pull resources away from sustainable development in order to adapt or pull resources away from sustainable development in order to mitigate. If we do this right, what we're talking about is investments in adaptation, mitigation, and sustainable development that work together. They work together in a way that helps build communities that are robust, economies that are growing, and societies that are vibrant. How can we do that? We can do it by being thoughtful about a, an approach that says, uh, how can adaptation contribute to things we need now as well as things we need in the future? How can adaptation help us deal as effectively as possible with the world we live in? At the same time, it, it builds a sustainable future. And with mitigation, we can say, what are the investments that create a fair playing field, that create opportunities for innovation, and that more than anything else, use investments in the future in order to build vibrant societies and, and robust economies. And at least for me, the estimates of the cost of climate change pale in comparison to these co-benefits that come from thinking carefully, planning ahead, and being serious about building solutions. Thanks very much.